What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out the best way to save and manage your models inside of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is a topic that actually doesn't get discussed very much, and it's actually really important because it can make your life a lot easier when it comes to saving models. And so right now what I've got is this model that I haven't quite completed the roof on, but I want to go ahead and I want to save a copy of the model. And so um, a lot of the time what people do is they save different versions on their desktop. And so if you're anything like me, your save files probably look something like this, where you've got different iterations and just a whole bunch of different copies. Um, over and over and over again. It takes up a lot of hard drive space. And honestly, it's just hard to manage, especially when you start working with layout. And there's actually a better way built into SketchUp that doesn't get talked about all that much. So um, the way to do that is actually using Trimble Connect. Stick around to the end, by the way, because I'm going to show you a really cool feature in Trimble Connect that you're really going to like. If you have a username associated with SketchUp, you should have a Trimble Connect account as well. But all you have to do is go up to File, and go down to Trimble Connect. Now, one thing to note about this is there are actually two Trimble Connect options in here. So you might be a little bit confused as to why they might look different. The second one actually comes from the Trimble Connect extension, which um, is not really the way that we want to do this. I think that's something that uh, I, I think this first option is going to be preferred. So don't go to the second Trimble Connect option. Um, we want to go to the first one right here. But what you do is you go to Save to Trimble Connect. So File, Trimble Connect, Save to Trimble Connect. That's going to pop up a little window right here um, for your projects inside of Trimble Connect. And in my case, I want to go to SketchUp, Quick Tips, and we'll save it as Garage Example. Now, I already have a version of this in here. Um, you'll probably save a new one, but notice how it shows different versions and things like that. We're going to talk about that in a second. But when you click on that Save As button, what that's going to do is that's going to save that to Trimble Connect so you can access it later. And so now if I want to access that model, I can go to File, Trimble Connect, and we want to go to the first one, not the second one. We're going to do an Open from Trimble Connect, and that's going to pop up a window where you can open up this model. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the option for Open in order to open that in SketchUp. So best as I understand this process, this creates a temporary local version on your desktop that you can work from, but you need to make sure you save your changes again to Trimble Connect after you make them, which we'll talk about in a second. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this roof up real quick, and then uh, we'll show you how to do that. And so once you've made this change, you want to save our changes to Trimble Connect. And so in order to do that, you actually want to go up to File, Trimble Connect, Save to Trimble Connect. That's going to pop up a folder where you can get into your folders. Well, notice how right now this says V1 right here. And what we want to do is we want to click on the option to save as. And um, we're going to say yes. That's going to replace that older version with a newer updated version. Okay, so now we've saved our changes to Trimble Connect. Now more on that in a second. But let's say that we wanted to go through and we wanted to add some materials to this roof. So just really high level. We're going to add just some paint on the front side and the back side like this. This is still a model in progress, so that's okay. We'll add a little bit of wood on the underside to the soffits, and we'll add shingles to the top of the roof right here. But say that you've made that change right here. Well, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a file, Trimble Connect, save to Trimble Connect. Notice how right now this shows a second version. That's the version that we saved at 526 AM. Well, now we want to save this again. So we're going to do a save as right here and we'll replace it. Well, it's not fully replacing and it's just creating a new version of this model. But now let's take a look at a way that we can manage that. So now if we go to file Trimble Connect and we can go to launch Trimble Connect, what that's going to do is that's going to pop up the web version of Trimble Connect right here. And um, you may have to enter your SketchUp login info in order to get this to show up. And so the cool thing about this is if you look at this, you can click on this button right here in order to get to like a 3D previewer, which it needs to convert the model in order to get this to show up. And so this gives us 
a preview version inside of the web right here, which is cool. Um, you can like fly around and look at your different models and things like that. Um, but I don't really use this all as much. There's, there's all these other things that you can use in here, like organizers and data tables and things like that. I don't really use this, but what I do use is if you come in here and you check on this box right here, notice how this shows me the different versions of my model. So every time I save a new version, it keeps a copy of the old version that's in here. So every time I do a file save to Trimble Connect, it creates a new version of that same model. So you can actually go back and you can download the old SketchUp files of the things that you've created in here. So what that means is that means that every time you save to Trimble Connect, it's creating kind of like a touch point in here. So you can go back and you can do this as many times as you want to. So you can have as many different versions in here as you want to, but you can see how this one is the preview of the building with the roof right here. This one um, is the one with the materials on it. So I have access to all of those, but when you bring them into SketchUp itself, right, when you just do a file, um, open from Trimble Connect, it's going to give you the, the ability to bring down the newest version directly into SketchUp. The older versions you have to download out of Trimble Connect manually. This is a great way to manage your models because what you're doing is you're basically saving these iteratively over and over again inside of one file instead of doing what I used to do, which was version one, version two, version three, version four on my desktop where my links would break later on if I use layout or something like that and I had an updated version of the model. Now, a couple things to be aware of on this. It's really easy to forget um, to do a file save to Trimble Connect and just do a file save. And I don't think when you do a file save that it updates it on the server. If it does, it's kind of spotty. So you want to make sure that you're doing that file save to Trimble Connect in order to get that to show up. I've also found my auto recover files don't work quite as good. So you want to be diligent about saving a bunch when you do this. But overall, I think saving these on Trimble Connect, the pluses outweigh the minuses because of the way you get iterative versions of those files and you can access them wherever you want. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Are you using Trimble Connect? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you do want a little extra help learning how to use SketchUp, make sure you check out my course. I'll link to that in the notes down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.